Greetings, travelers. Welcome to my table. We've got quite a story for you today, so why don't you pull up a chair and stay a while. So when we last left our heroes, they had decided to spend a day soaking in the hot springs, only to be met with a ghastly issue they had to deal with. Oh my. Get dirty again. But with the ghost spirit laid to rest, they moved on with their evening. Yeah, probably, um, I probably went to the bath and just washed myself completely. Again. Just... Yeah, like, I think you ended the last session covered in, uh, dirt, right? Yep. Yeah, because you'd been digging the grave up. <laughs> yes, none of you wanted to get dirty. Oh, man. If someone's gonna offer to do the digging, fantastic. Two of us are people of the cloth, and that counts as desecration. Yeah. I don't know, I'll dick you down. <laughs> I don't have so, a penis. So, uh, on our end, then, at least, it's like, it, it counts as desecration, but if it's for the purpose of figuring out what happened, I feel like his, like, intellect side will take over more, because he's more wizard and cleric. It's like, he'd want to investigate. He just doesn't want to do the dig-up. Have someone else do it. Okay, so are we spending the night here or going back to the tavern? Because we did buy rooms. Um... Well, our, uh... Probably, our, probably our lovely back. friend can handle himself. Um... Cause problems. Um, so we could probably stay here for a night and then head back to the inn to pick up our friend. Yeah, I or, mean, my vote's to go back to the tavern just because yeah. of, uh, the shame I, 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 of the I, place. I think, yeah, I have a feeling we probably pissed off the owner. Probably. I, I have a feeling he's probably... Daughter uh, to heaven? Yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling he was trying to keep her here. Wait, you guys killed somebody? <laughs> no! No, she was already someone... dead. <laughs> so he said that apparently she died from like a disease or something, but hey, instead of having someone send her spirit to heaven, it's like, hey, I would like you to stay here, please. What? <laughs> yeah, I, I think uh, I think we pissed this guy off a little too much, and I think we should just leave. Look, if he's upset about that... <laughs> He, he needs to go to a place where that kind of cultural act is acceptable because I don't know how many patrons would like ghosts in their spa. Yeah, or like, yeah, it's a ghostly spa kind of thing and they uh, they serve other things. <laughs> like if that was the drawing point to your springs, maybe. But if it's just that, hey, oh, exactly. there happens to be a ghost here. Like, people are gonna try and sleep in one of the rooms, just gonna hear a little girl giggling in the hallway, look at it, oh, it's a ghost. Yeah, they're not going back to bed. <laughs> they're gonna leave. Uh, so are you guys coming? Yeah. If it's back to the tavern, I mean, yeah, that's yeah. kinda where our ends at, given everything. get my shit together, everything, we get all our crap together. Um, as I, I get into the room, I just bolt upstairs see my friend he's still unconscious from the poison holy crap <laughs> I told you it would last 8 hours how long have we been gone <laughs> <laughs> looks at what 8 hours <laughs> roughly Oof. this poor guy Map them load properly. Um, I'm like, I walk over to him and like, are you? He pokes him, see if he's waking up. He just sits up groggily, Ugh. holding his head that you allowed to hit the floor when he passed out. <laughs> I can't drop. I can't stop that. I was probably holding tr a tray of food. Um, it's like, are you okay? As uh, good as I can be in this situation. Why is Brandon a dick? 
Sorry about that. I didn't know it was going to knock you out that much. Um, so, yeah. We're, uh, we're probably, we're probably about to leave. Uh, wait, I need to get that thing taken down. Uh, what, what's going on? What? Who's stuck in the background? Uh, That's she's my boyfriend. Sorry, your boyfriend. Oh, your boyfriend. Oh. Oh. <coughs> yeah. Mike is the dungeon master, stupid. Oh, like, oh, your boyfriend. <laughs> no, that wasn't Mike, that was Mike. That, that was the, the kobold. Why, why are you playing with knives? Uh, do we have to be worried? <laughs> About? No, you don't gotta be worried. <laughs> uh, right. So, Snelly, uh, you just, did you go upstairs with me, or... So are we planning to leave now? Uh, uh head out? Not quite. Ow. Oh. <laughs> There's still some unresolved things in the city. Um, so I asked him, I asked, um, Charlie if, uh, he needs anything. A bit peckish. Um, he didn't get that food from this morning, didn't he, before he... Nope, he drank the potion first and passed out. <laughs> so is the, is the food on, still there? Guys. I don't is recall if you left there? it there or not. I think I left it, like, there might be a table in here somewhere. Sure, why not? Yeah, I probably left it One there. One second, Memo. There's... There's probably like a, oh, well, shit. Uh, uh, well, anyway, there's probably there's like bread and shit like that still there. That's still fresh. Still, I probably took the the stuff that probably went bad, but <laughs> and threw it away. All right. What the hell? My headset die or something? No, we can still hear you. Oh, um, no, I have like my camera as a, uh, for my mic, and then sometimes I accidentally unplug my headset. Ah. Uh, question. Okay, did anyone else want to do anything before the night's over? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I was like, yeah. Uh, I give him the, I give him whatever bread that didn't go stale yet, <laughs> to him. Okay. I know you said that I had to read the lore book for a little while to try and learn something from it. Have I learned anything yet with the amount of time I've spent? It's been a, about a week, and uh, some of these days I've been reading it more than the standard amount of time. I smell, I smell spray paint. You might want to go check that out, my man. Sorry about that, I got a phone call. That's fine. Uh, yeah, you're beginning to understand the musings of this other wizard. And basically what he was trying to do was create his own form of Sorcerer's Twinned Magic. Oh. Did he have any success with it, or is there enough there that maybe I could finish what he started? Uh, you By the time you uh, finish with the guy book, you should have, have his complete notes. Someone ran their uh, car over a... Uh... Spray, uh, spray bottle and exploded. Oof. So now, how does 
that work for the wizard? <coughs> yeah, I'll explain it to you once it's relevant. Alright. <laughs> Um, if I'm done with that, uh, at night, probably not tonight, because I doubt the bookstore's open, but in the morning I'm probably gonna go and try and purchase a book to learn alchemy, if I can. Interesting. Sweet. I don't see why not. Uh, haven't we really been to the bookstore here? Yeah. Yeah? It's where you we... get your, uh, your special little book. Uh, the Argodian Maid. Uh-huh. Oh. Um, Cobalt and Sargonians aren't a thing, but you know. <laughs> yeah. The Cobalt made. <laughs> oh, uh, I believe it was Yan T that I had altered it to. Yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um. I like to find a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you already looked for hats and were. Unsuccessful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because okay of the uh, place we're in. Sally, are you okay? Or are you the one with. Or. Is it... No I'm way. Fine. Huh? Oh! Thorn! Be yeah. here! Tell them penguins have knees. Penguins have knees. Yes. <laughs> penguins have knees? What? Yes. If they don't agree with you, I will read it. They can hear you. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, we hear you. Who's that? Is your roommate? No, it's my retarded kind of brother thing. <laughs> oh. Kind of brother thing. Alright. Hello, retarded brother. Oh no, what happened? Um, what happened? Thorn has just joined the party. No, Did I timed out of roll 20. Didn't even know you could do oh. that. It's probably because I scared you away. Yeah, uh, Thorn has joined the party, basically. That's what's going on. Oh, I'm uh, the person uh, here. Ow. Uh, Thorn, this is our, uh, new friend. Um, she's gonna be joining us. She's a tiefling. Wait, hold on. Let me check character sheet real quick. And check people's character sheets. Bonds heard a ling and he's like, wait a minute. Alright. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, it's not the same race as you, almost, though. I don't know why I thought a tiefling was me, but it's almost. Nope, Just double the height and literally yeah. from hell. Yeah. <laughs> we, lo we lost the uh, snow. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it's next morning, right? Yeah. Uh, Aaron, during the night, you receive a prophetic dream from your goddess. Uh, the dream details four great evil beasts will arise, each one bearing a large gemstone in their respective colors. Uh, oh. they will begin to rampage, and in order to stop this from occur- well, stop them, you have to slay them all and collect their gemstones. Only when those four gemstones are brought to the world engine can the damage they cause be repaired. And the world engine lies where gold is king. Right. Hope you caught all that because oh. I'm not repeating it. <laughs> uh, I, I caught all that. I, if you have a typed version of that, I would love that from my notepad. <laughs> Otherwise, I will paraphrase. Uh, you can paraphrase. I'll send it to you later. You guys. All right. Four, four gems from four great beasts that share the color, bring them together, bring them to, you called it a world engine? Yes. And that is where gold is king? Yeah. Okay. I, I heard Harmon quest. I heard gold. This reminds me of Harmon quest if anyone watched that. I have not watched that campaign yet. It's Neither like. It's like just I've people seen... playing D&D &D and it's animated. It's really fun. Alright, well I got that typed. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up tomorrow, read what I typed in my notepad, and be like, What? <laughs> right. Okay, so next morning. 
Uh, I go downstairs, buy for another meal, and then come back upstairs uh, for my friend. Yeah, and we okay. eat at, in our bedroom. How much money did I get? Is that was two gold, right? If yeah, correct. it's one gold per meal. So we I, I eat one of my eat. rations. I'm not paying. Of course. Cheapskate. Well, she's got food on him already. Why is he paying for more? I don't know. Look, he's like, these rations are good rations. <laughs> They're good, bro. Down up in the bed, you know? That guy across the street. <laughs> I don't know why. I just imagine Thrawn's eating the equivalent of Lunchables. <laughs> <laughs> just shady Lunchables. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Don't worry, guys. This is this is good. I don't. This I don't. Do y'all want some? <laughs> I I imagine the rations being more like a. Holy shit! Why stuff. do I have you so well? Like, I like I just I rations. I just imagine. Uh, I'm surprised Thornton hasn't come try to open my door yet. So, uh, why does he care? No, 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 isn't there? Nothing to look at. No, so, uh, you would know that Nala isn't there. <laughs> Also, are you, what do you think, Smelly? Yes, what? try to open your do my door. I would love to see you try. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot you had that thing on. Damn it! I forgot you. I was hoping you'd forget. <laughs> I was hoping you forgot about the door and you just get zapped. Uh, I did forget until you mentioned it. I probably Fucker, dude. Okay. Becca was trying to say something, she kept getting talked over. Yeah. Alright. Nah, it's fine, we're past it now. No. Damn. Alright, um... Well, because Cal and Arna like the super early varieties, he's probably gonna share this information with Cal first and just kind of bounce back ideas of what we're gonna do about that, because... it didn't seem like a standard dream. No. I feel like as a cleric I can separate prophetic dreams and normal dreams. Probably. And uh hey, when you come down to like pick up your human's food. Um Oh uh you know. Yeah. I you probably yeah. overhear us at least discussing part of it, like what are you talking about? Okay. Then I get it and then go back to the When the human is more important than the possible end of the world. <laughs> the human is more important than the possible end of the world? Basically yep. what Maria is doing is like, ah, I'm gonna go feed the human. Oh, what's that? The giant beast are gonna destroy the world? Eh, yeah, my human needs his breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> so she's just right now, she's using this as a coping tool or something like that because uh, she lost her thing, master. No, I know. It's just, it, it's kind of funny. It's just like, yeah, well, I don't care. I'm going back upstairs. <laughs> like, yeah, get, good luck with that. And goes upstairs. Yikes. Wait, how tall is each step and how tall is Maria? Uh, I just want to, I just want to see, like, envision how funny it would be that thing going up the stairs. Well, I think she's the same height as you, actually. How tall is he? I'm 3'8". Three 3'8"? Eight. Three eight? Uh, you're slightly taller than me. I'm 3'5". I'm gonna look up the average step height. <laughs> oh, probably I gotta know for it. you. 7.5 inches. Mm -hmm. right. So, a little over half. <laughs> but that's an indoor step. An outdoor step is around 11 inches. I don't know how someone went out and measured that. I'm pretty sure that's a common measurement for, you know, construction. Yeah, blueprints and stuff. <laughs> yeah, let me just wing the stair real quick. Just have one stair be three feet tall. Yeah. So this doesn't look right. I've seen stairs that, like, they were, like, at least, um, like, a foot, uh, large. 
in my job, one of the steps to get up to the landing or the loading dock, the bottom step is literally two feet off the ground. That's it's a pain. Uh, do vertical jumps. Well, we have to pull a dolly up that thing. Oh, that would be. <laughs> Why can't you just install a fucking ramp? Because uh, the ramp's on the other side of the building, and we don't have key cards for that door. That's and y'all are using dollies, but you don't have key card access to a ramp. That's no, that's fucking that's stupid. Fun. Okay, so everyone's meeting up in the morning. Yeah. Uh, so how long are we gonna be staying here at least? Well, we still have to discuss that. Yeah, I'm <laughs> gonna let my friend uh, downstairs. All right. How long are we gonna be staying here? There's still a few things I want to wrap up. Okay. I totally forgot we were building a house, weren't we? Yeah. Yes. Jesus Christ, what happened to that thing? We're still gathering money to do it. How much money do we need to have it complete? How much money do I have? Let's see. Uh... I think we need 5k and we're like 5 towards the goal. Okay, yeah, I'm broke and not contributing. <laughs> Uh, so what we expected, guys. <laughs> I was wondering, uh, everyone throw their amount of what they have in their, um, in their, uh, in the chat. I mean, for meta purpose or for like. Off the table. Their... I would just want to see how much we would have all together. All right. Well, for meta purpose, let me calculate how much this comes up to. I'm not gonna put my calculator. This is a... Jesus. This is how much G I have. Where did Cal get banked from? Look, man. He's not the only one. Cal doesn't spend money on shit. I'm eating rations. I'm eating <laughs> shady lunchables. <laughs> eating lunchables. I guess right. you don't have to eat at all. All right, so. my, Mike. I know you like to draw things. Please draw him eating some lunchables. I need that. On it. Damn. Yes. Just some fucked up guy. <laughs> in in on a ball. street corner, or just in his darkened room. <laughs> Uh, how much this does uh, Snelly have? Uh, uh, never mind. Snelly needs that money for her stuff. It's secret. Yeah, hang on. I might actually be able to. Uh... I think Snelly might also have bank because she gets a little profit. Snelly uh, has uh, bank. also. Uh, Nella also has the um, platinum. Snelly has wow. the platinum that we have. <laughs> She snagged it from my the human friend. Everyone, all the females here sound really quiet. Wait, gotta do the right click, turn them up if they're quiet, my baby. I, I, I have yeah. Snelly at 150 right now. Damn. Okay, both Come on, I know. Holy God shit. God damn. Hi, Snelly. Okay, back down to 50. Oh my, I this... can hear you. And this is why I count <laughs> everyone at 100, because... The, <laughs> the, the Wi-Fi is back, so I just switched back over. Yay! Hey. Yeah, don't oh, celebrate shit. too soon. It's been kind of spotty all day, so... Mm. Oh, I know that feel. Well, hopefully it sticks around. I'm currently uh, using the calculator to tally up. Um, oh, I thought you said the calculator. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear calculator. Smooth. Or in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. Also, um, if I'm correct, Nala has the platinum. What do you mean, the one towards the house? Yeah, but uh, yeah. All right, hold on. We're we're going over the math of the house, right? So, how much do we need? To build the house, we need 5k total. Didn't five of us receive platinum? Uh, we got three five of us did. Gold 
only three of us did? Jesus. I was What's there. wrong with you people? Alright. <laughs> I need to find out they had my book. No, I got platinum. So we've so we definitely have at least three thousand worth for the to cover and just in platinum alone. So we need another two thousand, right? Yeah. No, I can do that alone. And how many of us are there? Uh, um, there's there's six. five of you. We have five. We will soon possibly be having six. So. Yeah, y'all have five, not six. Don't. No, there's six of us. No, there's five of you. <laughs> there's six, wow. not counting Michaela's character. There's four, not counting Michaela's character, that have money to help. Oh. I didn't realize you weren't counting yourself. I, I need to buy them comfortables, man. This man out of here being like, man, look, I just need to buy my Lunchables. I'm a simple half. I'm going to be right back. Where, where's, where's this guy with the Lunchables, man? I got to go find him at some street corner real quick. <laughs> okay. I'm so a side if, note, Tord if... actually has more money than Maria does. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Oh, so so in, ad that. in addition to the the platinum, if each of us contributes four hundred gold, there you go. Then that, well, then we have. Pl that, that's how much we all have. Uh, uh, negative uh, from uh, Thorn. Something Don't else. That math's not right. As what? Really? Oh, wait, you have 4K? You put 123. So that should be well over 5,000. Alright, th thank you guys for giving me a house. I'll pay back someday. Oh my god. I, I, Thor didn't put down his, uh, his money, so yeah. I... Yeah, I'll put it down, you know what, then before I broke ass down. I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. I can feel that in the living room. What, my bro gas? No, the bass from my stereo in my lounge. Oh. Okay. okay. I don't want you to miss out. Oh, okay, dude. Shut up, I just got my Lunchables. I see all these numbers, but... Uh, what happened? What's going on? Why are you chucking to death? I think what Mike posted is the total amount. I, I love it how our friend in the background is choking. Don't worry, she ate some shitty uh, Lunchables. No, 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 no. It was, I don't want to be rude, but do you mind putting on a uh, push to talk? So that because we already have trouble with people talking over people. Yeah, <laughs> so no, we get background right. noise as well. Yeah. Y'all don't hear a fan, do you? You oh. know, ironically, only when you talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah, I finally found a fan quiet enough to not be heard. Yo, can you turn that fan to one? Thanks, cutie. Okay, so what are all these numbers? Uh, the the last bottom number. is the total. Yeah, and the individual ones that we all posted is our gold amount. Wait, this is meta knowledge, by the way. Yeah. Okay, so all together right. we actually have enough to build the house. Do we want to do that and then like subtract the five thousand from that total number, and then equally divide what's left between us? So that way everyone's kind of put in, a you know enough, but we still have gold for each of us. We could decide that once we head back that way. Yeah. Also, I'd like. So those Gotta numbers are probably gonna. Those numbers are probably gonna change by the time we get there. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, we're not even there yet. Yeah. Of course. Well, all right. So I don't know about you guys, but uh, 
I think we should let the DM get his session plan started because we've had a player waiting to play all day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got a different amount. Than okay, so as you move out into the streets to begin your daily tasks, you notice flyers posted all over advertising for the strongest under the sky fighting tournament. They're calling for me. Another one? The previous it's one time. wasn't a tournament. That was just arena combat. That was blood sport. Yeah. Dude, our, so visually what Aaron does, he looks at the, one of the flyers and he look, just kind of looks at his warmer and pats it like, oh, he's ready to participate in that. Kel's ready for this too. I'm too weak. I would, but in straight up combat, I would fucking die. I well, you like, don't, really, I well, you like don't yet know only... what the rules of this tournament are. Yeah, Your particular so skills like could give you an bad. advantage. Maybe. I'll look into it, but I'm a pussy. Well, you gotta <laughs> sign up before you get yeah. the rules, so... Ah, uh, one of those! <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I, well, where are my these? neighbors' uh, barbecue? Alright. I'm gonna look at one of these flyers. How, does it say an entry price? Uh, there is no entry fee. There is no entry fee. Oh, fantastic. Oh, okay. But if I enter, do I have to play, or can I just quit? Uh, you could instantly forfeit if you wanted to. Alright, I'm in. <laughs> I like how he's just... Off the table, right? I just I like how the, your character is just so afraid of getting his ass up at the arena. He's like, can I just not, if I don't like the rules? <laughs> You know, if it doesn't benefit me and I don't have a 100% win, can I just not? Yeah, <laughs> 100% win. Well, considering our fighter has yet to land a hit on you while you were conscious. <laughs> this is true. And so, so I will say, if this is not just only 1v1s, dude, being a rogue is fantastic. Yeah, that's true. Oh, more anime. Did anyone else want to join in in this tournament? Nope. Easy, yes. I'm good, uh... I'm good here. <laughs> I should I just... Fight. Should I focus on crafting during this? Or do y'all need... Yeah, me? I, 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 I would like to help you with that crafting. <laughs> I don't think you can. <laughs> she can fetch her tools and speed up the time, but not improve the Fetch her tools. <laughs> More or less. Yeah, I, I can hand you tools, you like your uh, surgeon and stuff. Like, I think it requires definitely. skill and tinkering to even remotely try and help her. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, um, since I'm getting, you know, making this sword, I think I'm using my smithing tools. Oh, yeah, it really so. depends on which thing you're working on, what tools you're using, so fair enough. Yeah, have you, have you thought of making a uh, movable forge? Yeah, let me tell you why that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, no. You know how much an anvil weighs? <laughs> no, no, I just want to know. Like, Even a have, small like, this... anvil could still weigh over I, 100 I, pounds. I, I know, but... well, I, I, it I would have thinking... to be on wheels, and it would have to be pulled by, like... Bear? Yeah, like, or oh, Bear John. Well, I was maybe. about to say, you have a huge-ass... What the fuck is he called? Forge. No, the, you, uh, you should make. Oh, the, wait, isn't it robotic? Yeah, is, you, no. should, you should make it the forge. No, I can't make Barrage on the forge. I'd melt him. Yeah, he has uh, purpose. Uh, he has I was sensitive thinking, components. Uh, uh, wow, that that's dark. Uh, I was just thinking maybe like a magical forge. Like you have this like to coin, you throw it down and it poofs into a forge, and then you just like your fingers and it just goes back into a form, a coin of form. I think at least one of us can learn a spell that does something like that. Kinda. Yeah. You know another alternative is... I think it's called we... Magical Forge. I'm correct? No. No. It's one well, of the one uh, we... houses. It's either the tiny hut or the mansion. can't remember which one I'm thinking of. Um, I think mansion is literally... So, I can't actually hear any of you. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
Did you put on yourself? This stuff? Did you so mute us I will all be or right something? Back. Okay. I love how we're still talking to her like she can hear us. Yeah, I'm just like, I'll type it in the general for Um, Hello? what I was thinking can you hear us? is... She's back in awesome. here. Now I can hear her. Oh, there we go. All right. Fantastic. Might have accidentally clicked on deafen or something. Or it might have just been Discord. It does that. Anyways, I was thinking we could either use something like um, a demiplane to house the forge, or we find a way to basically pop one into what would be like a bag of holding, except it's easier to put back in, and it's only for the forge. Yeah, because I think it's like, weight well, it's to the bag of holding. Yeah, in a bag of holding, it becomes 10 pounds. It's, it works fantastically. Demiplane doesn't weigh anything. We just go to it. <laughs> then you could always just get a portable hole. That too, but isn't a portable hole like the thing that uh, brings you to the astral plane? Or am I thinking of the weird combo thing? Um, uh, not entirely sure. I just know it's a weird uh, space. What was space. What was the thing? Was that astral hole where you, did, um, where you had, like, your own designer room or something like that? Your own... Oh, the demi plan is you can basically make it look however you want. Yeah, yeah. That's how a lot of I, the extra planar I, I, spells I've work. I've seen someone um someone had this thing where they threw this this hole up and then had a rope coming down from it. Yeah, when it's you climb up to the rope, it's like a little hobbit hole. Yeah, it's rope trick. The only sad thing about rope trick is anything that's in there when the spell ends pops out, so it wouldn't work for a forge. Yeah. I think that's a very small size. And considering one. technically, if you think about it, you don't even have time enough for a short rest when you go in the hole, so there is so little point to even using it. <laughs> yeah. Only well, when that's you why I, like I, a I, I allow short rest to be 30 if minutes. Can, if you can think of it, you can use it to, um, uh, when you climb up the rope, you can aim down with your spells and attack from above. Yeah, you can, as long as you don't pull the rope up, the hole's still there. You know, yeah. sadly enough, even when the rope is pulled up, you can still poke out. That's the meme. And I, I know one group I was a part of did that when I was trying to DM. That's just cheese. I'm sorry. It's the worst kind of cheese. Okay, so I have everything correct. Snelly's staying behind to work on her stuff. Kel, Aaron, and Tord are all participating. And is Maria staying here, or is she going to go to watch? No, I'm staying here with my friend. Um, I, I might teach him a few words in Monster. Okay, give me a minute to finish up these brackets. So, question. Are these brackets going to be finished properly by the end of the uh, session today, Mike? Ought to. Mm. So I was going to say, like, I feel like Nala would participate, but I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to kind of be mad at me if Nala loses. <laughs> And I don't want to fight my own character with her character. <laughs> I have it's. I have a feeling it's going to be one of those one things where it's uh, you're going to have to pin it against uh, each other to the death. I don't think it's to the death. And if it is, oof. Because even the blood sport wasn't even to the death. That's just like you beat the shit out of each other and it, you call it a day. <laughs> okay, let's move to the arena. Also, did you get uh, get your heel ch uh, checks in? Like your rings and shit? Nope, I keep forgetting to get that recharged. Yeah, before... Uh... I think Michaela timed out roll 20 again. Snowy, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I mean, Snowy. Um, sorry. Um, I added Kai because this does connect. I think, uh, Snowy is having internet problems as well. Am I? I don't think no, she is. coming through fine. Oh. Wait, I'm confused. Well, it took you a good five seconds to respond to that, so you might be you, man. Okay, now where in these tournaments should I put her? <laughs> put her? Oh no. Yeah, she said she wanted to participate. There you go. Put 
and let you guys kill our uh, new friend. If this is like a 1v1 type thing, uh, DM, probably on the other side of the bracket, so there's the minimal chance that I have to fight my own character. I'm not dead. Why do you have to fight your own character? Well, because I'm not going to just be like, Nala loses, that's cheap. I'm going to roll dice. <laughs> It wouldn't be fair with that, you know, and I'm gonna make them both kick you to the Yeah, but then there's all the, also the possibility that you both make it to the semifinals. All the I finals. know! That's the thing, right? But I'll take that rather than us fighting each other round one, because that's depressing. Okay, I'll put her right here. Okay. Help me pull the competitors into the arena. Let me open up. Good luck, I'm guys. Access to her and... sheet so I can actually see what she even has. Cause I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta do that. I'm not familiar. Yeah. I'll remind you at the end of the session to take the access off. Say, have it for the rest of the campaign. No, please. <laughs> okay. I'll be right back. Uh, fun Valley Should I have access boy. to her? Hey, girl. Oh, wait, I forgot to put it in the journal, too. I don't see it, but let me refresh. Yeah, I no, you're good. I forgot to put it in the journal. Oh. Should be there now. What are you looking at? <laughs> she doesn't have a picture associated to it? Weird. <laughs> she does. Oh, that's my roll 20 being absolute garbage. <laughs> Mike, is there a map or is it just black background right now? I see a map. I see ah, it. So I need to reload. Give me a moment. Uh, that'll explain a lot. <laughs> I'm literally looking at just white boxes, black background. And I'm like, huh? There it is. And now I should be able to see her picture too. Yeah, there we go. And everything is right with the world. So are our tokens supposed to be here? I'm working on it. Okay. Just made Probably sure after he done. sets up the brackets, we bring them out when we fight. Well, I'm just pulling everyone that's fighting into the arena. So, I have bad news, Mike. Huh. My laptop just overheated and crashed. Oh, shit. Mm. Yes. Sad. Roll 20 on the phone, question mark? I could try that, but I mean, I have push to talk on, so I'd have to, like, switch between the apps every, like, five seconds. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. I was just being my stupid old self. Yeah, I'll I'll try roll twenty on my phone. I'll see how it works. Yeah. My God, this is tedious. I'm watching a video of a guy ha that has wheelchairs on his feet. The fuck? That's cool. What are you in the effects thing? There we go, that was being a pain. Whoa, what's that? <clears throat> ah, 
that looks like my ex wife. I not make a totem for So roll twenty will not work on my phone. Well shit. Yeah. So what I'm hearing is we probably do a little bit of this today and the rest next week because some people are gonna have issues playing. Also, I'll feel better if I'm not the reason that Nala loses. <laughs> like, if, if she could participate herself, that'd be great. But I still want to play, so, you know. We could start. Yeah. You know... My players in my Thursday game want to do some stuff at the arena. I should probably do a thing like this. Have them fight together and fight against each other. A little bit of both. Okay, that took way longer than it needed to. Okay, let's play the audio. So what's this stuff in the center? That is the ring. Okay, so... Oh, okay. we're doing Dragon Ball style this time. Dragon Ball? Hell yeah. <laughs> An announcer steps into the ring and begins to speak. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I know it. Holy echo. So I'm still gonna like stay and sit in. Is that okay with you, Mike? Yeah. Alright. Okay, I don't know if you caught literally any of that because of the echo. About half, but the rules were very echoed. <laughs> basically, you were right. It's basically the same rules as the Budokai Tenkaichi from Dragon Ball. One-on-one -on -one matches. You lose if you get knocked out of the ring or if you're unable to continue. Weapons and potions are forbidden. And magic is limited to only enhancement and close-range attacks. And keep going until someone stands alone at the end, and they'll be rewarded with a headband denoting their victory and 200 platinum coins. You said weapons are not allowed? Yep. What? Oh. So how do... We're supposed to punch each other to death? We I don't need have that money, you better get it. It's a fighting tournament. I... <laughs> Why can't we use our weapons? That's the best favorite system stories amongst. You know what, I'll fight him. 
Alright, well... <laughs> so wait, and how, said... how am I supposed to attack if I don't have a punch attack? Wait, 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 wait. If you a don't question. have a punch attack, it's 1d4 plus strength. Okay. Yeah, and you're always considered proficient because if you're not proficient in swinging your arms, oh boy. <laughs> um, so, so, so magic is only allowed for close range attacks and what? Enhancement. Basically self buffs. Okay, what about booming blade, which literally requires a weapon? Uh, for the purposes of this tournament, your fist is considered a weapon. Okay. <laughs> Trust me, some of these guys are going to be running a similar setup. I would hope so, because I'm like, nutty. At least, right, so at least half plus... of the random stand-ins are magical. Oh, Jesus. Alright, I gotta, I'm making a fucking booming fist attack, because apparently this thing... Alright, uh, bludgeoning. Oof. Okay, the first match starts up with one ordinary fighter versus one magical fighter. And due to that roll on my D4, the magical fighter has won. Second fight is Cal versus one of the random guys. Who kill him? Okay, rolling into initiative. The hell's my initiative tracker? It's just waiting for a click. Ouch. That's a nat one on the die, by the way. Oh, no. <laughs> well. Oh, would they have told us how long is it between our matches? Is it short rest time or no? Uh, so at least for the first round, a good amount of time will be going by by the time you get to your second battle. Alright, so go all is out that, on the first uh, one. Is that your character, um, Snow? Hers is, is the token over there. I like it. It's cute. I just randomly pulled it off the internet. I haven't made one for her yet. Oh, you just found it online? Fitter description. Okay. This guy's gonna run up and go for a uh, judo style shoot trying to grapple Cal. <laughs> Things wanna roll. That'd be great. For an eating porn. You know, I'm selling myself a little short because I also have shocking grass and stuff. And Cat will make that save thanks to his strength saves. <laughs> I'm so glad I get to take that with advantage. <laughs> So he basically just, grab, he basically just just swats this guy away. Beat his ass. A corn cop went up. A uh, corn kernel went down the wrong throat. <laughs> oh, okay. Did you <laughs> think corn kernel just went down the wrong throat? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. For five. 
know the bad thing is? Cal gets to attack three times. <laughs> That'll also hit. <coughs> is Cal gonna one round him? Not with an out one. Okay, back to his I, I I always imagine uh Cal like pulling out uh like a chainsaw when someone gets too close. Oh you know he doesn't have a chainsaw built in. Yeah. His punch is gonna miss. And Cal's gonna start throwing haymakers because he's done with this another two in a row, what the fuck? And that'll miss. And that one will hit. As this guy sprawls out across the arena unconscious and unable to continue. Cal steps down from the arena. I give you a big kiss. Mwah. And then, um, that scene in your gift happens. Uh, Aurin is in the next in the next round. I give Aurin a big kiss. Mwah. <laughs> no, don't do that. Thank God. One shot you can try and hit me. I'll just deck save. Bruh. <laughs> we both have things that a deck saves only giving you half damage. <laughs> mm-hmm, that's like, bruh, I also have multi-attack attacks, like, you want me to scorching me? <laughs> I ain't now, <laughs> Alright, let me... Oh boy, I'm trying to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do, because this, this is a close range magic, and... Uh, oh, actually, question, familiar a lot, or nah? Ah, uh, no. It's 1v1s. Right? Also, Ooh. forgot to play music. Yeah, there's the music. <laughs> I always forget it. I had I had World 20 muted this entire time. I was wondering what y'all were hearing. I literally I just, just fixed started it. it. No, like ev like the announcer and everything before now, I've never heard. But I got it. Clear initiative. Yeah, I was waiting. <laughs> so, okay, you go first. All right, close range spells, buff spells. No range, no. Debuffs is what I'm. I'm trying to make sure I got the rules proper. Eh. Debuffs would be allowed if you could find a way to hide them. <laughs> nah, <laughs> we ain't gonna go into that cheating area. Too much honor up in this ring. So like, what does this guy look like? Give, give me a visual for this statue man. He he looks like a JoJo reference. <laughs> Pretty much. Yikes. Just like Tabaxi JoJo character with uh, a small bit of wood wrapped around his one of his arms. Hmm. Definitely looks comfortable in his like way of fighting. Yeah. Alright. Well, well, I'm sure everyone here is comfortable in the way they fight. Otherwise, they wouldn't have entered a tournament where. You're required to fight with your bare hands. I still might forfeit. <laughs> Probably should. <laughs> it's about throwing punches. Hmm, wait a minute. Alright, well. Uh, any kind of armor on the man or no? Uh, he's not wearing armor. 
No armor. Mm, Alright, then what we're gonna try is... I'm allowed to use close range attack spells. Let's start this off strong with a... We'll do a fire damage inflict wound. Oh, damn. That's a nope. That's a nope. Alright. Uh, bonus also, action. In this series punch is him. seven rolls, three nat ones. Jesus fuck. I know, dude. Well, we'll see if I can punch him. Yep. I can punch him. Cool. <laughs> you changed the name, too. It's awesome. Ooh. This will be a good punch, I'll take it. Thank god for my strength stat. <laughs> okay. So, one punch comes out trying to hit him with the element of fire, the other comes out trying to hit him with the element of wind. I'm over here looking like an avatar. <laughs> Might as well be a monk up in this sumbitch. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he's gonna sidle around to the side of you here. And... I don't remember how this spell works. Oh, he moved, so he takes another 14, by the way. Yeah, I noticed. Oh, boy. Damage. This guy's a little bulkier than the guy that Cal fought. <laughs> of course he is. Okay, start out with this guy's gonna throw a punch at you. Which will also whiff. And he's gonna try and uh, copy your uh, tactic and throw out a flame blade. Oh, okay! <laughs> Wait, didn't he already use his action to punch? He has multi attack. Oh, well, extra attack. Well, yeah, you you need the full action for Flame Blade. He must up. Flame Blade's a bonus action. Can you attack the turn to make it? Let me see. Because I know it's a uh, bonus to make it. You can use your action to make a melee spell attack. Yeah. It's a bonus to bring it out, so he's prepping for next round, I guess? No, he has extra attack. He used the punch as the first attack. Extra attack if he made an attack this turn. Oh, yeah, again. but a, a spell attack isn't... you don't get the extra attack benefit. That's kind of why I didn't go for an extra attack build with Aaron. Sadly. It's why I can't Booming Blade twice uh, if I had extra attack. I can only do it once. But the one oh, Booming Blade is stronger than two attacks. So... Yeah, it's a it's a spell attack. It's just the mechanics from D and D. I mean, I'll allow the I'll allow that Mavis and have that roll that the, with the three, the flame blade attack. That's chill, but uh, you know. Yeah, you should still have one attack action left. Well, you have an attack action left, not a action left. Yeah, he yes. Has it's dumb phrasing on the things part. I mean, if that's how we're doing it, I'd love to take, um, what's it called? Uh, Shadow Blade and do that with the Pally build, I don't know. I mean, it's just not how it typically works. I don't care. Like, if he wants to do it, he can go for it. Yeah, because each turn you should have two attack actions and a bonus action. Yeah, but... A cat like the attacking with the spell like flame blade or booming blade is your full action. It is not an attack action. It is a spell attack. It's like casting fireball. Full action. Now Shadow Blade makes a thing where you just have the weapon and you can use your extra attack, which is stupid. 
but Flame Blade doesn't. So if you want to use Shadow Blade rules, there you go. Alright, that should be me misreading effects. Anyway, it's your turn. I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I should know because I love my Gishes. Uh, Alright, well... How much did that punch even phase the guy? Not much, or decent enough? Decent enough. Mm. He was surprised by that extra damage he took. In that case, let's... I'm just not wearing armor, so I can't shock and crest before, Vlad. Well, you can, it just doesn't automatically hit. <laughs> yeah. Try another punch. That'll hit. That'll hit, alright. And that'll put him on his ass. He's down? Yeah. Oof. Alright, well. <laughs> Good night, Irene. Kinda of messed himself up with the movement then. Yeah. When he moved, I was like. Oh no, <laughs> he shouldn't have done that. <laughs> hey, let me move our and off. Put him here. I'm gonna sim the next fight, but uh, I'm gonna describe the character that's in the fight. You watch you as a, uh, a man that looks like an ordinary human, but with a little extra body hair and sporting a tail steps into the ring. He wins without his opponent ever landing a single blow on him. It's a Khajiit. I don't think Khajiits look human. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Roll for Bob vs. Bob. Oh, hey, regular guy beats a magical guy. Is Michaela still here? She's not. <laughs> I think she said she's going to stick around, but she might have. Yeah, she's, she's not even in the chat anymore. Oh. She left a while ago. What happened to her? Oh, uh, internet. Well, it wasn't yeah. her internet. It was more her computer overheating. She probably just left because there's no computer. <laughs> choking over that thing. Well, you now um, watch as the purple tiefling steps into the ring. So, um, this guy, uh, has human features, but also, um, rock and a tail. He has a tail, and he's more hairy than the average person. Well, someone's been reading the book. God damn it. How do you know that? I don't know. Uh, Sounds like... So... Kinda like a... It's a race that looks humanoid, but definitely isn't human because it's tail. It's a cosplayer. <laughs> uh, right. next up is Nala. Alright. Kai already read at me in the PMs like, It's a fucking punch tournament? Oh, I'm angry. <laughs> And I'm like, I, I can't help you, sorry. Yeah, well, she's got battle dice. Everyone's got, like, a little bit of something. Yeah. Well, yeah. almost everybody. I don't know how Twart's gonna pull a sneak attack off, but... Can I roll stealth before I get on the stage? You're in the middle of an arena. <laughs> and crawl under the tiles. On a stage in front of everyone. I'll crawl under the tiles. <laughs> What he does is he just crawls up to the little, like, fighting platform, and he just spider monkeys the guy, like, what? Yes. I wish I could roll spells, that would be Ouch. Yeah. Okay, this guy's gonna come out swinging. 
And I won't hit Oh, uh, and neither will that. Now what's up? Alright, uh... Trying to... Just let me check what her maneuvers are real fast as check. I want to say distracting strike would be her only effective one for this situation. Yeah, wait, what? I said I want to say distracting strike would be her only effective one in this situation. Actually, the I only one she has that uh, that does something is repose. So we're, we're going to use a repose on that second miss. She's going to use a reaction before the turn ended to punch him because counter she does punch. Not Damn it. That'll but miss. I I, wait. Do I add the dice to the attack roll or the damage roll? On the attack roll, okay. So, where is this AD8? Doubt it'll hit, but we'll see. Does a 15 hit? A uh, 15 will hit. Oh, okay. It is not for much. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. So, you just counter punch this guy square in the jaw, dealing a good chunk of damage. And it's. Now her turn. Oh, I add that to the damage too. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm, I have not played a battle master ever. Oh, yeah. let's throw some punches, ladies and gentlemen. It's not her turn that I'm worried about. It's the enemy. It's a miss and a hit. That's, That's a hit. A four. Heck yeah. This guy's visibly like you're fucking his face up right now. He spits out a tooth. Ah, alright, so action surge is what I'm hearing, <laughs> too. That'll hit. <laughs> and with a deft extra combo from your action surge, you put this man on his ass. Yes! <laughs> I got an all of one when I'm happy. <laughs> alright. <laughs> hey, I got some gifts that you can use. Look, she's just fist of the North starring the guy. <laughs> Okay, Torts in the next fight. <laughs> good to see you already after eating those Lunchables. Dude, those Lunchables are fucking good. I don't know if that's a nugget or just some, like, dirt, but it's good. <laughs> what? <laughs> Here in his background, friend, it's just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Um... He can't fight, but he can't see. Hey, um... John, I accidentally step out of bounds. I don't you need to out. use one of these, uh, gifts for your character. Dude, this battle music has me a fight. Tor goes Big first. Alright. Dude, the punch gif is Aaron when he's booming, punching. So how the hell am I going to punch him? <laughs> Alright, so what, so what you do, if you haven't set it up, you click on your strength, like the actual stat, it should roll a strength check. And you add your proficiency to that, see that would, well that would be a 4, so we don't That's need to worry four. about it. Uh. Yikes. Well. I, I can imagine the one with uh, the free hitting uh, the guy's face. That would be a uh, cow. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just gonna walk around until he gets tired. I don't. I don't think this is Stan's field of expertise at all. It's, it's like there's, there's not a single pillar in here, right? Nope. It is a climb. completely flat arena. Jesus Christ! You know what? I got this. What archetype did you choose with? Uh, for it? What is your strength, um... Modifier? Forward. He's got a zero. He's a zero. This guy waves his left hand in front of his body, and his body starts glowing for a moment, and then appears... <laughs> <laughs> and then appears to be completely coated in wood. <laughs> what? In the killing! Dark skin? I'm just gonna move right up to get right up in your grill. They just stand there, menacingly looking down on you, challenging you to do anything. This man is mean, dude. That's not necessary. <laughs> Yo, guys, you got any tech tips or anything? 
Nope, don't you're on your die. Life ship, don't you die. <laughs> um, I have an idea. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stand right here. Yeah, my turn's done. You're just gonna stand right by the edge. Yo, uh, hold on. If you're readying an action, tell the DM what you're readying. Oh yeah, yeah I'm readying to to dodge and push him off the thing. That's two separate actions. Okay, yeah, I'm think... readying to dodge. Okay, uh, let, let, let me let me. Let me... Did they discover, um, is this like uh, one of those things where uh, you get knocked off the ring, you're out? Yeah. It is. So, alright, I don't know if the DM will allow, but let me let me set a mechanical speed down, because I know you're newer to D&D. Are you trying to use athletics or performance to knock him off? I'm trying to use anything that he would fall off if he tries to attack me. Okay, so when he enters within five feet of Thor, he, Thor is going to use his reaction immediately to attempt to knock him off the arena using athletics or performance at DM2. Uh, trip him off the edge. Can, can I not use acrobatics? Uh, I could, like, do a karate kick. Can he? Can if you like, could describe a, a method where this 5'10 guy would somehow be ninja okay, off so this, this arena. So, he goes to punch or kick me, right? And I do a a side flip over his head, and I just grab his bald head and shove him the other way while I flip over him. Honestly, you could probably kick him in the back while you're well, doing or that. Or okay. anything that works. So basically, you're trying hey, uh, to maneuver around him and then push him from Yeah, no, I maneuver uh, around and, and kid him off the, the pipe. Uh, um, Thor, uh, look yeah. at art. Hell, uh, uh the, the first gift, uh, that's just what you need to do. The first gift of the in art. Oh. Uh, let's see this. Scroll down 5,000 pages. Yes, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down to the do so one punch shit. Okay, so All roll right. it. No, uh, roll acrobats? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one, one yeah. of the things he just like, he just backs up. Uh, okay, like, you successfully dodged. Now make an athletics attack, uh, an athletics roll for the push. Athletics? Fuck. Fuck! <laughs> so yeah, you, you definitely slide under his legs, and as you're going to push him from behind, just... His bark skin roots him right into the arena. He ain't moving anywhere. Fuck, so we switched places, right? Pretty much, Me yeah. This is the best thing, oh my god. So close! I, I tried. So close. Alright, so it's my turn again, right? No, it's his. Use your oh. reaction. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a good use of your reaction, though. I I'm just gonna keep trying it until it works. <laughs> it's your only hope. You're, you you got a zero mine, and your damage is gonna be one per hit. This guy has wood armor. Hmm. <laughs> I feel bad for it to work at the Oh, I have a good idea. I know how to win this. Don't don't y'all even worry. All right. By the way, I'm eating rations in the middle of the fight. Here, let me. You made me pump myself so hard, and it's like, why? You should give me more food. Okay, I'm hungry, too. Okay, he's gonna you make a, a uh, grapple check against oh, you. Thank you. Uh oh. Wait, what? He's making I'm a grapple check oh. against you. Oh. Yeah, you're acro already. Yeah. Dodge. Can I do a deck save? Yeah, you could do acrobatics oh, or man. athletics. Oh, they're the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Wah! Fucking try me, bitch. So, yeah, you're just slipping and sliding all around this guy's grasp soon. Oh, 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 oh. Your turn again. Try. Huh? It's your turn again. Okay. Just so, do an athletics. Just, just go for it. You have to. <laughs> oh, he's by the edge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here, right? And I'm gonna talk to him. I'm gonna say, "Hey, how are you?" He can't speak through the wood armor over his face. Can he sign language? He doesn't I, I don't know have sign that. language. <laughs> Technically, Fuck. you do, but. Fuck! Semantics. I was gonna like try and talk him into going away. <laughs> 
hey, I know you're here right. to win all this money and renown and shit, but can hey, you just uh, jump out the arena? <laughs> look, man, just just try and push him again. You have nothing to lose except the match. <laughs> yeah. Have an idea. Rawr! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Rawr. Intimidating as a newborn kitten. I Fuck. But I, I can still go. That, that, that doesn't do it anymore. That's your action. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. My just let that be. He has bonus actions he can't even use. <laughs> sure, why not? Alright. I, I say raw if he looks at me. But now, <laughs> he now his tilts his head down. sideways. I just go. <laughs> Fuck you looking at, cunt. Fuck you looking at, huh? Oh shit, you're actually looking at me now. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just try to push him off again. <laughs> okay. That'd be athletics. Ooh. Oh, it's a number. <laughs> Let's see if they get his do number, do though. Do oh. As you shove against him, he flies back out of the arena, slamming into KL. Yeah! <laughs> you win by ring I out. <laughs> like they were like. They're like, oh, this is a flag, this is bullshit. People Wait, how do I use this kid? He threw the fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, how do you use gifts? Um, yeah, someone needs to show us how, uh, show him how to do these gifts. Oh yeah, we'll do it later. But I just want to put it on my deck so whenever I roll deck saves, that pops up. Yeah. I'll be All right. I <laughs> don't think you can put it on a deck save, actually. You can. That's so dumb. I think it has to be on an attack or magic. Fuck. That would've been cool. Yeah, that would be kinda cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, you can always find something else you can put on. Yeah, I'm cool. I, I just won that fight. Y'all should all bow down to me now. You've won at least one match. You did not waste your time by coming here. <laughs> yeah. That druid is so BM. He's over here like, I'ma just cast, uh, I forget what the druid spell is, Barkskin, I think? Yep. And he's just like, I ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> this man. I, I, I give, uh, Cal another kiss. Mwah. Uh, I didn't know you, uh, Thorn swings that way. Oh, I swing every which one. I'm also still eating my rations. More lunchables. It's the hell? power How of many lunchables. Do you have? These are lunchables. You know, like how they have the little, little, uh, like sections of food. It's just like a foot deep of food. <laughs> <laughs> a foot deep lunchable thing. I'm. Oh, I'm dead. I can, I can imagine someone making something like that. <laughs> That's food for the, the uh, guy. for the obese uh, kids. You just call me fat. Oh. <laughs> Matt, you better yeah, roll up on Maria's. Hey, Tor, you want to do me a favor yeah. and uh, roll the attack on your rapier if I did that right? Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Yeah, so I couldn't you get to the save. So you got the rapier thing for, uh, for missing him. Well, he wanted to have it as something. And the rapier is the only yeah. weapon he uses. Yeah, I wish you could put it on a saving throw. That would be amazing. Oh, I mean, a dex. Oh, you, you can't put it on your dex saves, but if you had a spell that needed a dex save, you could do that. I know, it's sad. Too bad he's a rogue. He could have been an arcane trickster. Next fight. Cal up against Magical Boy. I give you a kiss before you leave. Yeah. What is your obsession with kissing Cal? It yeah, gives you motivation. Everybody. It gives you all motivation. I'd rather have bark inspiration. I feel like it actually does out, something. If you get knocked out, I'm just gonna keep kissing you. So you have to stay awake. Or conscious. Well, this is Cal you. we're talking about. He hasn't even gone big yet. <laughs> I forgot you would do that. I want to break the arena. It feels like kind of a dick move. I mean, they did Dragon Ball like four times. 
I think the arena got broken in every single world tournament. <laughs> The first one it did. Every other one, yeah. I'm pretty sure a car went flying into it in the first one it was shown. Really? <laughs> Oof. I might the, be the yeah, second one. one. I can't remember. It might be the first one ended with Goku and Krillin, if I'm not mistaken. No, the final one. The first one was Goku and Jackie Chan. Ah. <laughs> anyway, back on topic. This guy getting right to it. He's gonna move right up the cow. And he's gonna throw a gust. <laughs> and cow will make the save. Because yay bonus to strength saves. I was gonna mist walk behind this guy. I'm done with his shit already. Oh, that would've been cool, because then you could have pushed them all. I don't think I actually have any knockbacks other than just the shove action. Uh probably, but you can shove to You can get him off. Oh yeah, thing I completely forgot to mention, everyone that bathed in the hot springs has 10 temporary hit points. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, everyone that we bathed in the hot springs last session has 10 temporary hit points. Oh, I see that. Me like you. Well, almost everyone. Ah, uh, well, Mika wasn't there, but everyone else, right? Yeah, I believe so. I already added it to everybody's character sheet, so... Oh, thank you. Cal's gonna try and barbecue this guy from behind. That's a nope. <laughs> you know, let's just make that straight roundhouse kick. There you go! <laughs> Oof. Yeah, basically I just warp behind this guy and just kick him square in the back of the head. <laughs> oh, a punch's damage is a D4, not a not just one. Uh, uh. It's D4 plus strength, but Cal actually has a feat that gives him punch damage. Right. Okay. So for us. Yeah. He's got the iron fists. <laughs> Making sure, because I was like, wait, because I know some DMs do it different. I just went with one because of standard. Yeah, Cal just gets proficiency to his punches. <laughs> I think strength as well. Yeah, strength. In a scenario like strength this, and proficiency. <laughs> Which the strength is still pretty low, but well, eh, it's fifteen. That's what it is. Okay, you watch as this guy uh, takes his fist and slams it into the ground, and the ground begins to shake more so than the usual shaking that's been happening lately. And Cal's gonna make a deck save, which he will fail. And he takes two damage and is knocked prone. And now five feet or five foot circle surrounding this guy, five foot radius circle surrounding this guy is now difficult terrain. Ok, 
Kel's got to use his full movement to get up now. Let's try for the electrocution again. That one will hit. For 12. And a punch that will also hit. For another 8. As this guy drops cold turkey onto the ground. That's not the phrase I wanted. Out cold. There we go. Cal progresses to the semis. Next up is Aaron. All right. Versus the uh, extra hairy individual. Well, I, Mark. Are bus between fights allowed or strictly on the field? Has to be on the field. Gotcha. You find this character's character sheet real quick. So this character has a name. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Clear initiative. This guy doesn't seem quite as bulky as the uh, other participants. It's not as well. I mean, guess he looks muscular. wrong. Oh. He seems oh. like he's more of a dexterous strength rather than a muscles on muscles strength. Oh no. <laughs> and even with that, he still fucking gets a 7 in initiative. <laughs> oh no. He's fucking a plus 5 in initiative. And so oh, going God. first. <laughs> I'm already scared. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Full disclosure: well this guy has player levels. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll we'll try the strat that I did during the first fight. See if it works. Uh, we're going to try and throw a nice fire inflict wounds at him. Uh, that'll hit. Alright, I deal 30 damage because I'm using my channel to... Ouch. Yeah. Still not enough to bring him down, though. Okay, well, that's a good thing I have a punch. Uh, hopefully. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's not doing anything. He's like... Fire, no, cause Harry. Wind, that's nothing. Alright. Uh, there's no difference between those two squares, so uh, that's it. Hey, uh, Cal, how about uh, this gift for your real gun? And your, uh, and your claymore. It's not a claymore. It's a Nodachi. <laughs> There is a massive oh. difference. Oh, uh, yeah. Who posted that dumbass shit in the chat? What, then what? don't do it? Then Me. don't do it. That's <laughs> <laughs> you. Uh. <laughs> okay, he's gonna throw his first punch. This uh. one at 20 hits. Ow. Yeah. Oh. The fuck? I think he's broken. I think I hit him too hard. Oh, I know why that didn't work. So, uh... Yeah, I just, uh... I just imagined that nat 20 being the one punch gift. So I have the 12. Uh, 12? And now he's going to flurry of blows hit you again. Just a good question. <laughs> How's that a 12? Uh, uh, it looks like a 9 to me. Is it rolls just rolling the dice twice? I double instead. That's. Ah. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good to know, actually. Okay. Uh, that will be shielded. Uh, you're gonna shield the nat 20? No, <laughs> the, the 24. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's a. Right. I don't think shield works on a nat 20. It's automatic success. <laughs> He's gonna throw yet another punch in vain. 
same roll. Good investment on my part. <laughs> Okay then. How buggered are you? Dude, I'm I'm absolutely spooked right now. And as a bonus action, he throws up patient defense. Then he flurry blows me? Yeah. Dude, aren't they both bonus actions? I don't know. Yeah, you're right. My bad. Okay, thank god. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> I thought it was a reaction. That is my bad. It is your I, turn. I'm, I'm happy. It's, uh, <laughs> it's yours. All right. Uh. Hmm. It is not worth trying to goat this man to move. He did not move the first time. Uh. Let's. I can imagine your character using that sword. Uh, what do you mean? Um, for Cal, uh, the, oh. the gift I put it in the chat. Even that's a little bit too unrealistic for Cal. What about you know when, what? You, uh, when you transform with uh, Snelly? Still be ridiculous, it doesn't gain any height. Oh. Does the fire punch look like it took the wind out of him for a moment, or is it just not enough to be like about half well considering his massive amount of martial arts training he okay. can easily hide what damage he's taken well damn all right then uh, we'll, be, we'll play it safe i want to at least get to the finals let's try another one of these uh that's a mess no do i save and face that i don't I really that's do. a miss i it's a monk they typically walk around with 16 up. Uh, well, in that case, we'll just throw out another punch, I guess. That one will hit. Fantastic. Doesn't hit nearly as hard as that first one, but... Yeah, sadly. Hey, look, I mean, 30 damage and uh, 13 damage. I'm doing a decent bit to him. He's scaring me, he's still standing. <laughs> Arn's like into this fight and he's enjoying himself. Me the player? Oh no. <laughs> Alright, well that's me. Like, I love how all of this is going on and I'm sitting there teaching the human, uh, uh, uh Charlie how to speak human, uh, speak monster. Well, some words. Okay. He's gonna throw another punch. You gonna shield this one or? And he's gonna roll that extra attack, see if that one hits. Not doing any better. Now he's gonna throw up the patient defense with his bonus action. Damn it. <laughs> it's kind of the plan. If he does use his bonus action for anything else, he's just going straight for the patient defense. I can't blame him, but damn it. <laughs> he knew he was going to be fighting up against people with magic, so he's got the shit to stall fights out. Spells. How much I would love to throw a poison spray at him right now. Poison spray? I, I hit the cantrip by half. Oh man, it's just... You have, no, no, I'm just saying like, if you have poison spray, I have a perfect gift for that. I was gonna basically ignite the poison as fire, because the theme for this battle is fire, you know what I mean? Apparently. Uh, damn it. 
But yeah, no, like no ranged cantrips either, right? Uh, BM, even if they're single target? Uh, we'll put the range at no more than 10 feet. That is every range cantrip, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, then in that case... Does this guy have any metal on him at all? He's a monk. So no. I know. <laughs> I was hoping he had a dagger. Damn it. Alright. The um, tournament's rules are no weapons, so nothing. I know. In fact, the only weapon he does carry isn't made of web isn't made of metal anyway. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> He's the quarter staff. Alright, well try to whack him. That one'll hit. Again, you wail away at this guy, and he isn't showing any signs of the beat. Absolute anger. Do it again. That one'll mess. Damn it. <laughs> if only had part of inspiration. I know. If only Maria came to play her soft tunes. I don't think that part would be allowed. Probably not. <sighs> My, those are my punches. <laughs> okay. Crap. Another punch. Did not work. You shielding that? Mmm. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Hey, doesn't your shield top you out at 23? <laughs> uh, my shield tops me off at 25. God damn. Yeah. Your armor class uh... has to be nearly as high as Cal's at this point. I'll... Uh, yeah, I'll shield that as... Yeah, anger. I'm just here like I don't I don't wanna get the big oof punk combo, you know? Eh, we'll go for All another right, flurry of blows. Okay. And his extra attack. And none of that's hitting. On to your turn. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna down my guy. <laughs> Damn it. That's a mess. Uh, uh, you know what? Let me check something on saving face. It probably doesn't add damage. I don't think so. I think it's, I think it's checks roll. and saves. Attack roll, ability check, saving though. I'm gonna save that because I don't know if I'll need it later. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you only get All that right. once a day, so... That one will hit. It's going down, my man. It's literally the Android 7. You don't know when to go down, old man. He's visibly starting to show the wear of this fight now. That feeling when all my resources are gonna be done before the finals, then oh, I'm gonna lose again. <laughs> Flurry of blows. That's 25. I ain't shielding that. They're no use. <laughs> <laughs> Makes what matches, he still succeeds. Show me that damage, four for four. That's 10. Here comes the ouch. And with his extra attack, he's going to fire Radiant Sunbolt. <laughs> this man? <laughs> Guess he got 13 ain't doing shit. I just see him fucking materialize <laughs> Radiant Energy and chuck that at me. Now Arya is visibly confused, like, excuse me. He doesn't say that, but that's the look on his face. He bonus actions and burns another key point to fire again, and that ain't hitting shit. <laughs> oh, man. What, what's this reaction of this whole thing going on? It's the longest fight that's happened so far, so probably a lot of cheering. Right, uh... He isn't done. No, he's still going, he's got four attacks? No. Okay. 
about to say. Every time I see a D20 roll, I, I, I get the I'm ready kind of mood. I'm like, uh oh, I'm ready to die. Uh, I can punch him when I'm gonna attempt to give him more swingerinos. Uh, Yeah, just give me a second. Do this open. Alright. Because he had one last thing he was going to do on his turn. <laughs> okay. But well, I cannot for the I'll life keep of the me. roll, but I'll. Yeah. Cannot find the light for the life of me. Find the other thing for it. But yeah, you watch on as this man doubles in size and becomes much, much hairier and animalistic. Oh! This man is now a ten foot tall ape. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now it's your turn. Oh, I'm punching him, so... <laughs> and that 18 no longer hits. <laughs> oh, well, that's a waste of the bonus action. I probably should have shielded face with that. Okay, uh, hey, what kind of sweet hell do I want to give him because it's gonna end horribly? Yeah, um... I'm gonna be doing this one at a... A third level. Hope to god this shit is. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, right. it's, it's definitely not hitting. I know. I'm like, I, I'm already spooked at what he's doing. So, mm -hmm. Yay. You're going to die. Probably. Now he gets one further additional punch attack per turn. There you go. Ted ain't hitting shit. He's got a flurry of blows one more time. He's being shielded. Extra attack, this is the shield, and final attack, which will also mess. He's just slamming down fists, just trying to hit you and can't at find a home. At this point, at this point I imagine I materialized the arcane in, in my hand like an actual second shield and I'm just putting them both up, blocking him, it's just like, oh god. It's like that one now. shield from, uh... Breath of the Wild, where it's a tiny yeah. shield until you actually fighting something. <laughs> it is your turn. God damn it, I'm so sad at the uh, Inflict Wounds miss. Alright, well. Damn it. That'll miss, and Thank that will hit. Uh, what element are you doing that with? Still fire? Uh, I'm doing this with uh, Thunder. I never specified I was changing. Alright. Airbending. So yeah, you slam this guy square in his shin. Actually, wait, 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 wait. He looked like he got hairier, right? Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna him with radiant damage. I'm not. Mm -mm. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah, okay, so you can slam you can, this you guy. Always, you, can, you can always climb him with using his hair. You slam this guy square in his leg, and he just topples over unconscious and changes back to his original form. Did you just stick punch him? <sighs> no, I knee punched him. There's no glory in the fucking nut kick or nut punch. Oof. Yeah, especially when you're all about the glory. <laughs> Aren't here for a good show, and at that he's gonna do a little bit of a hey, kind of like. <laughs> Basically, give the crowd more energy by kind of just, just doing a, a home. Oh, are you entertained? Kinda, yeah. Basically, it. <laughs> yeah. All right, get my ass up the stage if he's good. I <laughs> damn. Uh, healing allowed between rounds or no? Uh, you're only allowed one healing ability per in between. Ah, uh, so no hit dice. Uh, yeah. alright. Oh, 
that's what I guess. Because someone do. could just stack the living shit out of their health and temp hit points and. You're right. Well, technically, temp hit points is a buff. That's separate. Yeah. That'd be cheating. Uh, all right. Well, technically, all of us have temporary hit points, so. Not anymore, I don't. <laughs> well, let's see, you got beaten badly enough. Uh, next fight. It's between Michaela's character and Rando. Michaela wins again, goddamn. Same role. Okay, I'm gonna fight no one wanted to see. <laughs> Nala V Twerp. Oh, here we go. <laughs> What? You're fighting against Nala. <laughs> I got a good plan for this one. Uh oh. This would be easy enough. If only view cameras were existed in this world. <laughs> Holy shit, what the hell is this? So I'm actually fighting her. Currently, no matter what, at l uh, yeah, no matter what, a player character is going to the finals. <laughs> hey. Uh, very obvious Dragonborn question. Breath weapons are not a lot, right? Never said they weren't. <laughs> it's part of your body. There's no reason you couldn't use it in a fight. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she'll use it, but it's definitely a better option than punch. <laughs> you gotta move Nala into the ring? <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I had her, I had to look at her stuff again, so I'm like, what do you have again? Oh, right. How good are you at punching stuff? <laughs> Not good. Okay, okay. Uh, I die. And after the fight, uh, the guy would have come up to you and introduced himself as... I forgot his name, Chibs. And, uh, thank you for the good fight. And that he looks forward to fighting you again one day. I would have uh, congratulated him on the good fight as well because it was <laughs> it was hectic on both ends if he didn't have his shields and uh, he he he's very ready for the day because he can't wait to see how he improves and how his opponent improves as well. You know, standard fare for the hobgoblin culture. Speaking yeah. of, uh, can I make a check to figure out what kind of race he was? Was uh, sure. Hey, sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, he's some kind of human ape variant. <laughs> Interesting. Man's actually. He's a, a Saiyan. <laughs> Low key, there is a Saiyan homebrew race, and it's pretty cool. But no, that's not what he is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's really an actual human. Alright, so you're gonna put the uh, turn tracker up? Oh, yeah, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yummy. <laughs> it's okay, like... so Tort's up first. Okie dokie. Oh, what's that thing? I feel like it's in character that this is the one person of the party Nala is ready to play. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I'm so done with your shit, I will hit you today! <laughs> like, now I have no choice but to hit you. Alright. First thing I do, I walk up. So if Nala like, loses, right. who's telling her? I, I'm going to, and I'm <laughs> going to be like, well, time to get her to yell at me. Would it be grapple if I wanted to grab her boobs? <laughs> <laughs> Technically, yeah. <laughs> Holy God shit. God fucking damn it. Uh, I want to do that. Uh, oh my god. Tell, tell Nala that, that this is going on. <laughs> hey, yo, throw it throw an at in general. Yeah, he, do it. she already knows. Oh, okay. They're talking in chat. I'm grappling your tatas. Megan Athletics, I guess. Let me look at the fuck she's going to contest it with Acro, apparently. Yeah. So, great. Athletics? Her acro yeah, athletics is better. better acro. Yeah, I was say, how the hell is her Acro better than her Athletics? She does not have proficiency in athletics, and I am disappointed. What? <laughs> yes! Oh no. Oh Let shit. Go. You get one in each hand. <laughs> you see, he's starting to get really pissed off. Okay, I don't know what grappling actually does. I just wanted to 
items? Uh, basically Nala cannot use her movement. Oh. Technically. Yeah. Hey, can I, can I shove her off now? No, uh, that's a full action grappling. Yeah, that'd be on, okay. another turn. Okay. Which she is now restrained have, by you. I, I, I have a feeling the moment you do that, like five other dudes... I like, bet you are. Like, How are you doing it? it? It's a one-on-one -on -one fight. Impressive. Even if we wanted to, we couldn't intervene. Alright, there we go. Ah, this is not the one that gives me disadvantage on a tank small. So that's my turn, right? Yeah. Also, <laughs> someone in the crowd does get a bolt. It is Nala's turn now. Alright, well... You can make another... Uh, uh, athletics or acro. Check the get out of the grapple. Dude, she's about to, like, actually try to make a dent in his face. <laughs> 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 He's totally hey. skipping the escape, just going straight for the headbutt. Yeah, so like... <laughs> I apologize. If she was going to use the breath weapon, now would be the perfect time. <laughs> yeah, uh... Just, oh, you can't dodge this? Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, uh, what's the breath weapon rule? Because she doesn't have it in... Let me, let me look at... Oh. Uh, she has the, uh, it's 30 foot straight line. And I think she has the damage written down in the breath weapon. Feet, right? Can she use Dex and take half that damage? Do, do you really want to use breath weapon on him? Of course. They don't burn him. Yeah, but I'll be real quick again uh, uh, until a full rest. All right, so if if he literally can't dodge, that would be her first action. Just you know what? Uh. Yeah, the only way he would be able to dodge would be to drop the grapple. <laughs> I was thinking, but then I wouldn't be grabbing the boob still, so... Nah, she doesn't it's get probably the, the only chance there. you're ever gonna get at it. Nah, it was worth it. She's going to try and breathe 9 fire damage. Right? Are you gonna try and use your ability to dodge that, or are you gonna maintain your hold? Um... 9 damage? I'll try and dodge. Okay, okay, so you're releasing your grapple to try and dodge. I give one last good squeeze. <laughs> and then deck save, right? Yeah. The DC is 12? Yeah. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, okay, so you only take four damage. Oh, okay. 13, but he still has pass, so. I gotta change that for her. Now it's back to Tor. Uh, that's what you would think, but... Oh, I'm gonna action surge it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? I, I know what she's going to do. She's going to action surge, and the uh, second he tries to move, basically does anything, she's going to basically try to use her action to fucking throw him behind her to throw him off the stage. Okay, she's athletic taking the style. shove action. So that's athletics contested by athletics or yeah, acro. Oh, uh, that is the wrong she pulled up. You need to make an athletic or an acro, and <sighs> I'm gonna ask Nala a question. Uh... Fuck. Oof. Port might be flying. <laughs> I'm asking not a quick question. Uh, I will roll it, but uh, keep in mind this might be something to change. We'll see. Kitty um, box. <laughs> that will succeed should you go through yeah. whatever Nala tells you. I wouldn't go through with that. I think you should, uh, do a okay. decent fight. Well, so this is a decent fight. The, uh... If she could defeat you in one move. <laughs> I, I wouldn't go flying off this time. I mean, I'm... <laughs> yeah, you're small, too. Yeah. I feel like that's enough to chuck up 10 feet. It's 10 feet uh, movement from the aggressor's position, by the way. <laughs> oh, there you go. Hey, hey, but why don't you throw me this way? 
And now I specifically want to throw you off the stage and I asked her a question, she said to save it, so hey, at least I didn't waste something I didn't need to waste. So, so to throw you yeah. off. Dala grabs you by the collar as you're trying to run away. It just spins around and hooks you clean out of the arena. But I like to imagine <laughs> if Nala the, like, wins whatever. by ring out. Yeah, what I like to imagine is this cloak is just slightly on fire and she chucks him so he looks like a flaming ragdoll as he's about to land. You could probably land, uh PM, are you gonna let him make an acrobatics to land on his feet? Or Sure. I landing on my feet outside of the ring, I don't even care, I'm just gonna let my body roll. <laughs> gonna roll into that random fighter. I'm gonna roll? Okay, you know what? I am actually gonna roll acro. <laughs> Do I? I'm not. Yeah, you can pull off a tuck and roll of that. Uh, yeah, I tuck and roll, I stand up, and I give the monk a kiss. <laughs> that isn't the monk. <laughs> then, then I just slowly come back, give Cal a kiss, and then stand here. Alright, let's get Nella off the stage. Okay. Oh Next Gee. fight, Cal VR. Yeah, Cal VR. Oh boy. Match of the century because uh, the two people with way too much AC, way too much damage, it's done. Yep. <laughs> and they can both add to their already ridiculous ACs. Not to mention, they're both strong as all get out. <laughs> mm hmm, these are the 220 STRs, right? Nope. Cal's only got 15 STR, but he gets the advantage on everything strength related. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Fucking. We got a Sharon's initiative up. Oh boy! So, because I know him, and uh, thank god I know him because this would be absolute hell. Hmm. So, uh... Actually, during, the, during that, because we would have watched Nala just chuck him off the stage, I would ask him, do you, do you want to have like a proper fight or is ring out something we're both okay with? Cal would be all right with ring out, but wouldn't use it. I would say wouldn't he'd use prefer... it unless it's a last resort. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, cool. So we're on the same page of having like an actual good fight, fight, not a. Because you know, he's still a trained like... samurai, so he'll fight dirty if he needs to, but. Yeah, I can use a cantrip that has a big range, but only at like a max distance of 10 is that how you worded it or is it just poison spray is not allowed uh basically if you want to fire a ranged spell at close range you take splash from it hmm let's see poison spray is just i pick a target they make a save that's why i'm asking hmm. uh in that case uh what am i doing you know what Okay, well, everything can just go wrong with my Sheik. Give me a moment. <laughs> uh, you know, and now I have to open it in a different browser because it, it decided to glitch. Fantastic. Joy. Alright, so... Had to wait until the semifinals to fuck up. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is, uh... Bonus action for... Shield of Faith. Add two more to that AC concentration. And I'm gonna wait for him to get close and gonna give him a booming punch because he. What? Did you just say eat? Uh, because my fucking. The chat is on the left side while the journal's on the right side and I'm confused. This is a new wait, thing for what? me. What? That's. Yeah. That's weird. This is new. <laughs> Unless mm -hmm. they just changed something. It looks like it to me. Okay, so Cal, knowing Aaron as well as he does, Cal's wasting no time. He immediately <laughs> drops Cloaking Mist. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Cal knows a lot of magic means, means you need to see your target. Son of a 
bitch. <laughs> We're gonna have to make this punch at this, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> this is my personal health. <laughs> now, I specifically mentioned that weapons and potions were allowed, but rings and other jewelry are. Yeah, I kind of figured. Oh, man. Cal's gonna proc an item that he hasn't had to use yet. <laughs> Mm. That he literally got day one. Cal activates his ring of detect enemy. For the next one hour, I can see you. <laughs> and now I can't even. Cal. Cal pulled that out of the chest in that very first adventure. <laughs> Oh, I'm disappointed now. <laughs> I'm like, I was gonna just swap to invisibility. Uh, hmm. Okay, he's got the glowy eyes now, and I'm like, this? This man's. <laughs> Alright. You wanted an all out fight? Cal, I'll give it to you. Yeah. Well, that burns my bonus action. <laughs> so that means I only get one punch. Well, two punches, because. Extra attack, whatever. Kel will move in and take that attack you prepared, if you can hit. <laughs> yeah. That's Damn. a nope. <laughs> what a hit, but you know. <laughs> you would think. But uh, when Kel took that level in Paladin, he changed the way his defense works. <laughs> oh god. He switched from unarmored defense to his Warforge defense, because he is now proficient in medium armor. <laughs> Cal now has an AC of 21. So like... <laughs> Alright, well... No, I'll break that punch attack here. now. That's a miss. By one, thank god. <laughs> That's another miss. That's an absolute shit show, but alright, let's do this. <laughs> and ironically enough, Chilly. if anyone else goes hostile against me for the next hour, I can detect them too. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a good thing. He's made all armor. And, uh, I just so happen to have something that likes that. So, um, I can cancel out that disadvantage at least. Damn it. Hmm. I'm still going to save my saving face, damn it. <laughs> You're like, I might need it for something bigger. <laughs> exactly. Also. Namely, Nala and the <laughs> unknown character. That'll also miss. I, I, I'm saving it on the <laughs> off chance someone tries to throw me off the ring and I'm just gonna be like, no thank you. No chef. There it is, me. <laughs> I should really start moving around in battle more. That gives me plus two if I fucking missed off more than 20 feet in a turn. <laughs> this shits and giggles. He's gonna miss walk behind Arn, so Arn loses sight of where the hell he is. Well, lose the general sense of where the hell he is. And now rain the punches. 24? <laughs> I do not shield it. I'm gonna let him hit me. <laughs> I'm gonna regret Second it. Second <laughs> punch. That's a miss. Third punch. Also a miss. Okay. I forgot to roll the damage on that first punch. Yeah. That's an eight. <laughs> oh boy. Well, you know, that's I'm gonna use bird. another piece of my movement oh. to miswalk to a different side of you. Best thing about mist walking, even if I move away from you, you still don't take opportunity hits. <laughs> yeah. Because you can't hit what's intangible. <laughs> well, you can, with certain means. I also but... can't hit you if you teleport, because that's how Misty Step's actually a good spell. Yeah. <laughs> um, alright, well, I'm basically going to be dowsing for a massive amount of armor with another Shocking Crest. I am literally forced to use Shocking Crest this fight, oh my god. <laughs> 
Ooh, ordinarily that would hit, but Kel saw that shit coming, so he's gonna pop his Veil Shield, increasing this. his HD by two. <laughs> Okay. Well, if I know where you are, it's like an at least attempt to disadvantage plunge now, but Jesus, this is a sad. I was wondering, <laughs> what kind of mist is it? Is it like a water vapor kind of mist? Um, I would assume it's... Uh, yeah, like steam. Would that yeah. conduct electricity? Not as well as you think it does. Yes. Yeah, not like we have a, um... It's not like we're standing in a pool of water. It would have to be an immense amount yeah. of heat for it to even build up on the floor. Yeah, that'll miss. Eh, big depressed though. Alright. You know, Kel's gonna take that lesson to heart and throw a shocking grasp of his own. And that nat 20 in the shock and grasp says you aren't taking reactions until my next turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know, uh, I'm gonna at least... Yeah, I'm gonna at least negate the critical hit effect by shielding it so my AC is higher, but it counts as an auto hit. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> it's literally gonna be a finale where if Nala wins, it's gonna be another fucking fight the same way we had one in the alleyway. I'm not gonna have any magic. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, so that's nine, thank fucking Christ. Ow. <sighs> One more level and I would have had something that Cal would really hate. Wait. I should say that, uh, two of the magical fighters were druids that had heat metal. <laughs> Okay. Let's go for uh Haymaker Punch following that shock and grasp. Yes. Yes. 28 Good. hitting. At least through that shield. Yes. That's Cal's turn. How much of a pain in the ass would it be if Cal actually started moving away from you? <laughs> yeah, because then I'd be dowsing and I'd only know you're like I feel away, so it's like I could swing at you on your way away, but it's still disadvantage and uh if Cal decides to misstep you. away, you don't even get the opportunity. <laughs> exactly. Oh boy. <clears throat> and then on your turn you'd just be swinging at air. Cal could really hit and run tactic this if it wasn't previously stated that this was an honor scale battle. Yeah. Are things like um Are things like uh what wait why do I not have the spell on my I really only play my attacks, okay. Um Are things like burning hands and uh spirit guardians allowed? Burning hands is a cone attack and uh Spirit Guardians is a AOE around me buff. Uh, I'd say yes on the Guardians, but no on the hands. Battle of Attrition it is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't think the full spell. Thank you, World Money, for being spell description on try that again uh, there it is we can use the 9, I feel cheap using the 14 so like what I imagine this is now that it's radiant damage is the audience sees basically silhouettes in this giant fog cloud they can now see what's going on Uh, well, they don't seem to give off a whole lot of light, seeing as they're basically just meant to be creatures. 
Yeah, I meant more for the flavor of the outside. I'm probably still not going, getting any benefit from it. It's just for everyone else. Cause I'm, st I'm sure the audience is gonna start booing you if all they see is fog long enough. You see a bunch of fog and then all of a sudden one of us is standing. <laughs> what yeah. happened? Oh also boy. super hey. glad I took that level of paladin. <laughs> Doesn't help a whole uh, lot, but helps yeah, to make the, the save. The DC for reference is 15. I don't know why it doesn't show all the details. It really should. Okay. So I have to make that save at the start of my turn. Uh, you make it now and at the start. It only has that little silly bullshit when you first cast it. It's a guarantee something comes out of it, because uh, you can get hit and lose that spell. Yeah, it's when a creature enters the area for the first time. On a turn. And it is my turn, so... You know, then I go see your turn. Yeah, the thing is, I didn't enter it. I was already in its radius. <laughs> so, rules, it ri rules is written. It'd be, it waits until my turn. But. I mean, I'll take that, because that sounds more balanced, but according to Sage advice, it's the way I say I think your way is more balanced, so yeah, at the start of yours. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? Yeah, you know what? Battle of Attrition. Um, because, <clears throat> uh, this is going to be absolute hell. Hold up. Yeah. Why do... Give me a moment. My sheet would like to work. Have to leave. There we go. Alright, then I gotta pop it into another tab again. I hate that so much. I feel like wisdom saves because this they're not stopping. This does not did have concentration just... or nothing. This is just no. so long as I do not make an attack. Just question, did you just make two leveled attacks in this spell? Oh, we're not doing that in this campaign? No. You're only right. allowed when you, on your turn you're only allowed to do one spell plus one can trip. Regardless of how many actions you get. Because uh, 'Cause I'm in a couple of campaigns that do it otherwise. Oh, go punch out of them. Sanctuary next round, so look forward to it I guess. <laughs> Nothing. That's a nope. You know what? Let me roll severity on that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just because. I guess. What I is a TF? <laughs> is that fade die? Uh, no, that's fucking die fudge. <laughs> the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah. Let's well, click, like, let's click on the what? advanced die roller and click too quick. That's it. Ouch. Yeah, going to punch Cal, you slam your fist straight into the arena. Oof, I do a downward punch. Huh? For four. Okay. For some reason, you're going for like a downward cross, it just went too far. Yeah. Okay, Cal gets to make his wisdom save. 20, holy shit. Alright, you take, uh, since we're using the 9 to be fair, that's just 4 damage. But I've, I've, I've done something. I have done, I've done at least something. Chipped oh. through a little under half of his temporary HP. <laughs> yeah. Just be thankful Cal didn't level up another level. He could smite with his punches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just go for flurry of punches again, because twenty-three. Little hit. <laughs> Grace on that. Eh, I'm gonna shield it. No, you know what? <laughs> I said it right before I saw the fight. I'm like, mm, you know what? No, I want to battle. <laughs> 
many I'm pieces of cool. shield do you have left? I that used, was the last one. I, was, I want to say you've used it like at least three times in this fight alone. Yeah, I had an arcane recovery after the first fight. It gave me just a little extra juice. But uh, that was the last... Well, that is the last first slot I have. I can upcast it, but there's no point. Yeah, why would you? That's an at 20. I mean, well, like... <laughs> For 14. Grid, I guess. Now face it back down to 7. <laughs> Anger. <laughs> okay. He's gonna move around to the other side before throwing that final oh. one. And 19 will not hit. <laughs> On to you. Okay. Well, at least I get to punch it before I, uh... Sanctuary. Oh yeah, man. Well, I'm gonna shock and grab because that's just better here. Otherwise, I'd punch you. Yeah. Um, there it is. That's <laughs> a miss. And the sanctuary goes up. Jeez, how, how long Wisdom is this battle going to go? A long time because we're the, we're the beefy boys. Yeah, we're the two tanks of the party, despite one of us being a wizard. <laughs> Rage mage, okay. Whatever. Yeah. Throw in the punches again. Well, you have wisdom save for the spirit grace oh, and wisdom yeah, yeah. save to see if you can even hit me this turn. Okay. First I literally have to for the out. guardians. That is a fail. Let me grab the thing to roll the damage. I was say, didn't you say it was a 14 save for the? Uh, 15 save. For the guardians. It's a 15 save. 15 save for all my spells. All right. Um. I have any Why are you asking me if I want it at? <laughs> it's asking me. Do you want to cast it? At third level, uh, I sure hope so. I don't have four plus. <laughs> well, that's the full twelve this time around. And uh, if you're gonna throw punches at me, gonna make another wisdom save because sanctuary is now activated. I had to wait the turn, but I'm still using it. Okay. Guess the twenty will pass that save. You can attack me this turn, yes. <laughs> Okay, is it sanctuary so. for each attack? I don't think it is. It better not be, because that's broken. Uh, I'll ping it, because I don't want to read the whole thing. Um, yeah, it's just any attack. Or a harmful oh, spell. Oh, shit. So it's each one. Alright, well, you can punch me this time. Let's see what you roll. Yeah. Uh, and this is why fighting clerics is a pain in the ass, cause uh... Well, I rolled the 22, so... I had a 6. You rolled a 22? Yeah. Okay. He's up here. Ow. Cause I rolled it before remembering to do the save. True. Yeah. God damn it. Make another wisdom save to see if I can make this punch. Guessing I'd say no. And third wisdom save, does that make it? That makes it, you can make a punch. <laughs> <laughs> 11 ain't hitting. Uh, wasn't one of these a concentration spell? Uh, yes. You're right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay. It was just straight net. Just straight D20. And that will succeed. Oh, all right. Uh, well, this is where I get to actually r r really dumb. Um, <laughs> yeah, because you want to so, try to win, but you also want to try and save those spell slots for finals. <laughs> I know. This is where I get to really dumb. Uh, mm, that's a damn shame I can't bonus action call musket over here. Or you know I would. Does <laughs> yeah, that count as help? Uh, Yeah, imagine how broken that'd make this shit. Oh, you want advantage on literally everything? Here you go. <laughs> you know what? Uh, let, let, let's, let's, let's do that, because I 
again, this is where it gets stupid. I'm gonna take the dodge action. <laughs> so you gotta give Cal. Wait. You do realize that just balances it out, right? <laughs> no, because you don't have advantage. Now you have disadvantage too. <laughs> okay. Just holding for the dodge. <sighs> Uh, wisdom safe at the start. The spirits. Hmm. Yes, I would like to roll. I would like to roll the damage at third level. That is pitiful damage. <laughs> <laughs> this three. And pass. that twenty saves gonna be that ain't doing much. That is beautiful three damage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now wisdom save for punch. Seventeen makes, I assume. Yep, make a punch. Nine eight heading. Wisdom save for punch. That's oh, a pass. <laughs> That's a mess. <laughs> Every time I m fucking make the save, that's a mess. And there's just not a pass. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Uh, God. Same verse, cause uh, basically at this point what it looks like to the audience with the uh, radiant light at least giving them silhouettes, Arn is like trying to do some fucking hand parries against these punches with Sanctuary up, it's like, now Arn looks like a monk, even though he's not supposed to be one. I'll roll the damage again, uh, yes, I would like to cast it at I wish this were to turn it off. That's a hurtful one. Okay, let's see if this fucks Cal up. That's a nope. Oh. <laughs> that, that, that is 8 damage if you round down. 9 if you round up. Oof. That's like a. Oh, that's the bright radiant? Mm -mm. No, thank you. Cal is now more than 10 below his maximum health. You're below 10? No, he's 10 below his maximum health. Oh, well, okay. Or more than 10. Mm, I was saying. Just giving you a heads up on how much damage you've done in this fight. Yeah, I know, I'm doing the bar and I'm like, oh, I'm crying inside. <laughs> <laughs> Give me just a moment. Oh, hey, look at that. I got a message an hour ago. <laughs> you got a message an hour ago? Yeah, it was from Michaela. I X. Hey, it's a good time that we're doing the. Uh, you, you you guys are still fighting? Yeah. Yeah. This is a knockdown drag out brawl where both of us are imposing disadvantage or just not being able to hit. We both have an AC of 20 up, disadvantage on the attacks against the other, Aaron's doing shit where he has to make wisdom saves to try and hit him, it, it's a shit show. <laughs> if the audience could see like this, it would probably be the most battle. exciting thing ever. Yeah, anyone in the credits like, <gasps> a fight that isn't uh, done in like, what, 30 seconds. This is fantastic. <laughs> the fuck is, uh, they're like, what the fuck's okay. going on? Cal noticing that uh, all his punches are being me mentally blocked. Cal's gonna make a grapple check. <laughs> is a grapple check a special action? I think. Yes, it, it is. Oh, That's what no. I had to look up. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> so is, all right. is the fog still up? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. So you gotta beat Cal's athletics with advantage. That's a nat twenty. I can beat it. But, I don't think I'm gonna. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. So now I can't move. <laughs> can't take the dodge, actually. Can I take the dodge? No, I, I no, would say I can't. No, you have to escape first. Yeah, I would say I can't because that's cheap. <laughs> that's all Cal could do this turn, so Cal's just got you in a big old bear hug. Being opportunist, I'm 
to try and get out of it. Ah, Cal is like the scariest man when it comes to grappling. I think he's gonna try an opportunist. All right, well, if you're gonna, if you're gonna hold on tight. I guess this is an auto hit. So yeah, you're gonna that, run that, that channel through uh, Cal's body. Basically, like, he grapples Aran, and Aran just sparks himself with electricity right through him, trying to, like, disorient him and finally landing an actual touch spell on the guy. Uh, that will get rid of my sanctuary, sadly, but, I mean, uh, I, it does not give me advantage or anything, so this, I'm still disadvantaging punching. That is not a hit. Nope. Alright, wisdom saving though, let me get the spirit guardians, cause that's still up. Sanctuary is not. I cry. I need to find a way to turn this asinine thing off where it's like, hey, wanna cast it at their level? Okay. Let's see if Kel's getting mind annihilated this turn. That's a yes. And finally, the fight looks even, because, damn, it took a while. Hmm. Kel's gonna slam Auron to the ground, pinning him there. Oh, no. <laughs> Auron is now considered restrained. Step up from grappled. Is that another athletics check, or is it just that it happens? That's it, it happens. I had to look oh, up that no. rolling, too. And now that you're on the ground, it can't dodge. In the slightest. Cal's gonna start Rain Haymakers. And that'll fail the first wisdom, and that'll pass the second. Naturally, since you can't dodge, it's an automatic hit. Ow. <laughs> Even if you shield it, it wouldn't really matter. It would, because that would make my max AC go above it, and I'm just trying not to so badly. Are you just gonna do, uh, uh get knocked down and no one can heal you? You know. Kel's basically this, ground this, and pounding now. <laughs> this is a bad time. Uh, do I want to shield the... You have six health left, you know that, right? Yeah, I know. No, I'm not shooting. I, I know what I need to do. Mm, it's gonna suck. <laughs> Alright, you wanna pin me down? Well, you're still touching me, so... You're restrained. <laughs> I don't believe you can make any actions on a restraint. <laughs> I can. Trying to I have it. disadvantage on attack rolls, but this is a touch spell, and if I'm being touched, I don't need to make an attack roll. Thank God. Give me a I can... look up the roll. That 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 punch. You know that booming punch. That would not work. I would say that I literally just miss. I won't even try it. Just double disadvantage, and at least the way I do it in my Thursday game. Just fucking surrender, dude. We're thinking knocked out. Like a what? Do you not yeah, know sure. the culture and... of my homeland? <laughs> He's not allowed to give up. <laughs> exactly. All right. If you fail your saving throws. Can you give me a sec. Let's take a front load. It'll. I think it only applies to attack rolls. Uh, and you suffer disadvantage when you're restrained. That's why I was asking, oh wait, is to grapple the thing where I get this advantage? When I was uh, grappled by Thoric with Nala, it's like, no, it's restrained that does that. I had it up earlier. Uh, 
according to this, you are considered unable to move, but you can still try to escape. Yeah, speed becomes zero, attack rolls against me have advantage. I, you don't really need it. But while and you're restrained, have... you can't declare an attack until you escape from being restrained, is what I'm saying. Well, where does it say that? Let me, let me grab you from the Roll20 website. Uh, I'll put it in general for you. This. Unless I'm misreading. Yeah. So what? You, so what? Cal basically did is you put me into prone, which I mean, disadvantage on the attacks, and then this is the stuff that now applies on top of being prone. I cannot get up. My speed zero. Uh, I can try to escape, but it's a lot on me. Um, <laughs> and I ha I would have disadvantage on deck saves, but. I don't think I'm making those, so that's a null point. But yeah, this is straight from the actual Roll20 website itself. Okay. Yeah, I was just confirming with mm. actual book. <laughs> yeah, so we're good or uh... Yeah, you're good. Alright. Come on, deal enough damage to finish them off, please. That'll hit. Damn it. But you know what? Channel no Dip idiot. I'm, I'm using it. I was going to save it, but I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna make that thunder damage and I'm going to basically hit him with harsh winds. I can't. <laughs> this is awful. I have nothing for Nala now. <laughs> oh, Nala's gonna love this shit. Man. And Kel's gonna use his reaction That'll be... to finally use his fucking jaunt. What's the reaction for? I'm using my jaunt beat. As a reaction, I can burn a shroud point and mist walk half my mist walk distance in any direction. <laughs> oh, so you're gonna let me go. And I'm not gonna know where the hell you are. Oh. Basically, what just happened? What just happened to Cal? Why did he move to cross your board? I used my reaction to mist walk away. Yeah. Cal's realizing he can't afford to fail the save. Alright, well, I'm gonna say no. My turn started. And my speed was zero. I cannot get up. So yep. I am going to basically. Uh, Give me one of. Okay. Yeah, um, uh, how we are? Um, blast. Healing word. You know, uh, cure wounds. Uh, I used back. my action already. I can only do that for the punchies, not for the oh. shockies. All right. Well, start of the next turn. You are still in the range. Am I? Yeah. Shit. Like, I literally. I'll say that I can literally, if it's only 15 feet, I think I'm in the range everywhere. Ex yeah, the yeah. whole ring is in well, range. Not intended, but I will take it. I didn't realize it either, so I'm not gonna hold it against you. Um. Yes, I would like to roll this at third level. And that's a crit uh, fail. And that is, it was bad damage, but enough to do it. Out of curiosity, will that, like, fire out of the fist cloud and run into someone else and outside? Oh no, it's ba so, the way I like to see Spirit Guardians is it's like these beings of radiant light move around with me and it's kind of like ghosts attacking and moving through my enemies. Oh yeah. no, I, I thought it was like, it would be kind of funny and just like all of a sudden, like, a beam that just comes out and smacks one of the other contenders. <laughs> so this is basically how the play the fight plays out to the audience. Fight starts, yeah. some punching happens, suddenly no one can see anything, then there's light in the mist, and now one guy's on his ass and the other guy's unconscious. <laughs> Cal is out. Yeah, and like Iron is getting up by the time the mist is dissipating. Yeah, and it immediately yeah, dissipates yeah, as soon as he's unconscious. Yeah, he looks hard, like he's hiding that. He's got like 
fucking blood in his, like, next to his lip. It's just, oof, not a good time Aran had, but that was a hell of a fucking play. Alright. Uh, do a victory roar. Hey, I don't think I deserve one, not for that one. <laughs> yeah, you should do a re. <laughs> no. I'll, I'll let the crowd either roar or not, because... I, I do not, I did not do spectacular enough to do that, and that is a disgrace back in my home life. Don't do that. Yeah, that was too even a fight. <laughs> it's like they didn't even get to see the fight, so why yeah. would I roar in glory? <laughs> okay. You should probably message Nala, because it's now a fight between her and Michaela's character. Yeah, I think we have to wait till next week, because, uh, Michaela's not here, Nala's not here. But, it's a good way to start it off because I know Kai is very much looking forward to the semifinals. Okay, so then we'll end the session here.